हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड विद वन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू स्टेप फंक्शन राइट एंड वी हैव सीन वॉट इज स्टेप फंक्शन इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड रिलेटेड टू दैट स्टेप फंक्शन वी हैव सीन फ्यू मोर कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन delayed unit step function and negative uh, step function we have seen all of them and we have seen one example problem in that we are that waveform we have represented in terms of these step functions which i have told you and we have got with the conclusion that we can write it in terms of a equation okay so similar kind of one more concept we are going to see in this uh, video that is related to ramp function okay what is this ramp function we are going to discuss in detail so let us see now what is ram function this is basically the graph of a ram function you can see here again the ram function is f of t versus t graph okay from zero this uh, straight line you can see here this is basically a ramp it is represented like this okay and here in middle of this we can say that this is one slope that slope is equal to a the straight line of slope a is represented as a ram function okay so the definition mathematically it is represented as f of t is equal to a into t okay when it is equal to a into t for all the values of t greater than or equal to 0 and it is zero for all the values of t less than 0 okay so it is zero for all the values of t less than 0 that is it is zero and for all the values of t greater than or equal to 0 it uh, goes like a ramp like this okay so this is basically a ramp function next is let us see unit ramp function unit ramp function means the value of a again in this case the value of a is equal to 1 that is slope would be equal to 1 okay the slope is equal to 1 that is i have see right written it here the value of 1 uh, 1 here so this is basically the slope part that is equal to 1 okay the straight line when slope equal to 1 is called as a unit ramp function it is represented as the value of a equal to 1 so in this equation only if you change it it would be f of t is equal to t for all the values of t greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for all the values of t less than 0 okay so this is ramp and unit ramp function okay unit ramp function can also be written as f of t is equal to t into u of t okay because it is a unit ramp function so t into u of t for all the values of t Uh, greater than or equal to zero, and it is zero for all the values of t less than zero. So therefore, we can write the unit ramp function as f of t is equal to a into t into u of t. Okay, in this, this is the general equation how to represent a unit ramp function. Okay, this equation is required. Next is shifted unit ramp function. Okay, so that is uh, after some of the after some delay, the ramp function will be activated again. Draw an f of t versus t graph. in this case the value of uh, t t minus a okay that is t minus any value here okay so in this case the value of a is equal to 1 okay so here that's why uh, we have a delay here of minus a that is from 0 it is gone to 1 here and from point 1 onwards it is acting like a ramp function okay with the unit ramp function that i mentioned so the slope would be equal to 1 here okay it is equal to 1 you can see the slope is equal to 1 okay one and since slope is equal to 1 this point should be equal to a plus 1 that is 2 okay so this is shifted unit ramp function and it is represented as in mathematically f of t is equal to t minus a unit ramp function okay for all the values of t less than or equal to a and it is zero for all the values of t less than a okay mathematically you can write it as f of t is equal to t minus a into u of t minus a it can be expressed using delayed unit step functions okay so this is basically a shifted unit ramp function okay hope you understood the shifted unit ramp function nothing much from instead of zero the ramp function starts from at point 1 so you can see that we have a delay of 1 so that's why it is represented as t minus a in this case the value of a is 1 because from 0 to 1 and uh, since it is unit ramp so unit means the slope would be equal to 1 that is 1 uh, and 1 you can say that if uh, the value of slope is equal to 1 then this value should be equal to 1 and this value also should be equal to 1 so that's why here it is equal to 1 since the amplitude is 1 and here from 1 to up to next value that is a plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 is 2 so that's why from point 2 onwards you can see the slope okay so this is the shifted unit ramp function again let us see the delayed ramp with the negative slope 
okay with negative slope means the graph would be downwards okay with the so the slope value should be equal to in this case it is minus a okay this is not unit ramp this is just the delayed ramp delayed ramp with negative slope okay this is at point 0 and similarly we have drawn one more graph at point 1 that is again this in this case the slope is minus a this function is represented as f of t is equal to minus a t into u of t since it is a delayed negative slope and here in this case it is minus a of t minus a since the it is starting from point 1 so that's why t minus a in this case the value of a is equal to 1 okay into u of t minus a so these in these two the ways the equation is represented for these two graphs okay so let us see one simple uh, graph here that is addition of two ramp functions okay so this is one graph when we add these two ramp uh, the resultant would be 0 why it is equal to 0 you can see here simply we can say it is equal to 0 because from point 0 only it starts one slope one ramp of slope minus of uh, plus a and again from point 0 only we have a negative slope of minus a so a plus of minus a the resultant is equal to 0 right so from point 0 only we would be getting one 0 slope okay uh, zero graph of when we have addition of two ramp from the same point so we can conclude that at the same point the addition of two ramp would be always equal to zero okay so hope this uh, ramp function is clear to you all so let us see one simple problem of this ramp function only okay how we have seen in step function right similarly we have one more problem related to ramp function we will analyze that problem we will analyze that waveform and try to write the resultant uh, in terms of ramp functions okay very easy you will understand it so this is that problem express the waveform in terms of standard function okay in standard ramp function this is the graph given if uh, if it is not clear since due to i have already explained this to someone so that's why it is like this so i'll draw it here one more amplitude is one 0, 1, 2, 3. From 0, 1 ramp goes till 1. And from 1, the ramp comes down to 2. And from 2 to 3, it is 0. Okay? This is of slope uh, 1. This is of slope uh, minus 1 from because it is coming down so it is a negative ramp this is f of t this is t okay i have drawn it here one more since it is bended so sorry for that yeah so the question is clear right again this graph you should be splitting into different graphs okay you should be cutting this graph okay so the given data here is you can clearly see that the amplitude or the slope is equal to 1 in this case because the amplitude is 1 okay so in this case the slope is 1 and this is the complete graph that is from 0 it moves till point 1 and at point 1 it comes down so we can say that this is a negative slope right and if, uh, when it uh, after it comes down till 2 again we can say that from it is uh, the drop is from 1 to 2 right so again the slope is minus 1 so here it is plus 1 and here the slope is minus 1 and from point 2 it is uh, from 2 to 3 it is 0 okay so we should be analyzing this graph and trying to write the resultant in terms of ramp function okay let us see now so from the given waveform the first part you can observe that from 0 to 1 that is one ramp function okay draw it first that is f1 of t versus t so from 0 till point 1 okay we have one simple ramp okay one one graph is drawn next uh, the name it as f1 of t and it is represented as since uh, it is represented as a t into u of t right so the value of a here is 1 so that's why it is uh, given it as f1 of t is equal to t into u of t okay t into u of t next for the second we can see that from this point it is coming down right so before that if you observe carefully this ramp is doesn't have a uh, stop point because the, the ramp function is always continuous right so that's why what we should be doing is in order to bring this down 
we have one more additional step keep in mind the ramp function is always continuous and it doesn't have an end point okay so what i've done is in order to stop this continuous flow from point one only that is from this point i've drawn one so, so this is this dotted line indicates the continuous ramp function in order to stop this and make this equal to zero what i've done is from this point i've drawn one negative ramp of slope minus one okay and this is also on continuous ramp function here which i've drawn okay in order to make it zero because in the example problem we have seen that from the same point if we draw this is the uh, think that this is the continuous slope and from the same point we drawn one negative slope and if we add these two slope from the same point the addition would be giving us the answer zero right so in the same thing i've applied it here also in order to make this equal to zero that is uh, this graph equal to zero like this what i've done is from this point i've drawn one negative ramp of slope minus one so that now the value would be constant the it, it won't be a continuous flow so that's why one step i've, I've done like that so but the uh, given graph is not like this from this point it is coming down again so what i've done is i've drawn one more negative ramp function okay from the same point okay now you can see that this is a continuous ramp function so uh, if we add this continuous uh, ramp function and one negative ramp function the resultant would be zero but uh, from zero again it is coming down the negative ramp so that's why from this point one more graph i've drawn it from the same point of negative ramp of slope minus one okay so now we can see that from here it comes down till point two right and from point two to three from point two to three it is constant zero right but if you observe that we cannot draw straight line because from 2 to 3 it is 0 so you know you know that when it is 0 when the ramp uh, the, when the ramp slopes are opposite we can say that from 2 to 3 it is equal to 0 right so that's why from point 2 since we have one negative slope we should be drawing one opposite positive slope ramp of plus 1 because we have minus 1 here and if we add plus 1 only we would be getting the addition as 0 right so from point 2 now I'm drawing one uh, positive ramp okay of slope plus uh, plus one so that we'll be getting our resultant as zero okay so that's why I've uh, drawn four graphs okay this this one problem requires four plots in order to represent in terms of ramp function how it is represented I've told you hope it is clear if it is not clear please comment down in the comment section I've, I would be trying to uh, clear it okay if you uh, if majority of the people didn't understand it please comment down i would be making one separate video for this if it's not clear okay yeah so now how it is represented f1 of t i've already told you f2 of t since it is a negative ramp so that's why it is minus of t minus one the value of a is minus one into u of t minus one here also the same thing again it's a negative ramp of slope minus one so minus of t minus one into u of t minus one f3 of t this is f2 of t and f4 of t is from point two now right so t minus two again the slope is of plus one so one into t minus two u of t minus two so the required uh, graph is the addition of these four graphs so that's why f of t is equal to f1 of t plus f2 of t plus f3 of t plus f4 of t whatever answers you have got it here write it here and write it together and one as one final function of f of t okay note that the addition of two ramps having same slope with opposite sign produces a function of constant value for all t greater than or equal to the instant at which the two ramps are added okay this is one note which i have already told in my explanation okay so this is one simple example problem so please note it down if it is clear do uh, tell me in the comment section okay if it is not clear do if majority of the people says that it is not clear so one more separate video i'm going to make it because uh, if i explain this in detail the video would be much lengthy and you would be getting bored okay so that's why i've heard as much as possible i've kept it short so that's all for this session guys like share subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next session thank you